Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use curves and various other adjustments to create an artificial or synthetic tan, or to just darken an image. Um, for a lot of you uh, Photoshoppers that are new to Photoshop, you get an image like this one. Uh, I'll delete this here, the curves. This is the original image, and let's say that the image is nice, but you want the uh, lady in this to be a little darker and have a bit of a tan, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, I'm also going to put a link to the image I'm using inside the uh, description field, because that way you guys can download this image. It is free to use from Pexels. Pexels.com, I believe, is where it is. So it's a free image. Let's get right into this. All right, guys. So the first thing is you want to open up the open up image. If you're following along, just open up the same image. If you've got a different image, all good in that hood. <laughs> the second step, make sure you're clicked on the layer inside Photoshop. And we're going to create an adjustment layer. You want to go down here to the bottom. And then you're going to see this little half circle uh, doodaddy, <laughs> we'll call it a doodaddy, um, it's an icon, but I call them doodaddies. Um, you're going to see this half circle icon, you're going to see the triangle, you're going to left click on it, and then you're going to want to create a curves adjustment. This is a adjustment layer, or particularly a curves adjustment layer. Um, now, when I grab the curve here, I'm just going to grab it in the middle, I'm going to lower it. You're going to see here a couple things. One, I am making the adjustment that I want, but uh, an astute viewer will notice that it's also impacting the background. So we want to go ahead and make some changes to that first. So I'm actually going to delete this. I'm going to delete that curves. And the next step you want to do here, I'll just show you what we're going to do, is we're going to use the W key or the magic wand. Let's just go ahead and left click on that. If I hold it down, pardon me, we're going to use a quick selection tool, not the magic wand. Let's use the selection tool. For the selection tool, I want to basically, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is your zoom button. I'm using a Mac, so I can pinch to scroll in. Um, you're going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to go ahead and use a very, very small uh, size here. So you're going to see here that I've got it at six pixels. I use a very small size because it's easier to add than subtract, although they're both relatively easy in recent Photoshop. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to left click on her face like this, and you're going to see here that I am making a selection and it's getting most of her face. It's quite good, but it kind of misses part of that ear. So I'm going to add a little bit more on there. And anyways, uh, let's add that little piece there too. Okay, good. Now I'm going to add in her hand. So I'm just left clicking and I'm, and you can see here that I'm just adding in nice and easy, a little bit at a time. There we go. And then let's just get her leg and her body and presto. We've got most of what we want. Now, there are some issues with the selection. Uh, I will zoom in here, and I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key. And uh, it's not a very big cursor. So um, I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key. And you're going to notice that when I do that, if you look at the top here, the default is set to plus. But when you hold down the Alt or Option key, it turns into a minus. And that means we're going to take away from this selection. So I'm going to maybe remove some of this here quickly. This is not going to be like magazine ready because I'm just showing you the technique as opposed to doing like a perfect shot. Um, let's remove her bathing suit. Oh man, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> In this picture, we're going to remove her bathing suit. Okay, don't put me on any lists. Uh, and then I'm going to take my hand off the Alt or Option key and then I'm going to start adding in this arm here again. So again, guys, this is kind of how you got to do it. And then we're going to remove the bathing suit there. And let's just remove some of this watery stuff while I got you. And this is a pretty uh, intensive or CPU and graphic card intensive uh, effect. So you will see that you'll see like you'll see it that it's thinking every once in a while when I do that. Um, that's just basically because it's very, very uh, graphic intensive. So, okay, and, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, we want to add in that little piece, too. That's a mistake. Uh, okay, let's, all right, let's take that out. Sorry, so we're just removing this piece. All right, there we go. Okay, so if we zoom out, we've got a pretty good selection. Now we're going to do what I showed you at the beginning, but the difference is we're going to apply it to this selection only. We are not going to apply it to uh, the outside of the selection. So actually, I'm just going to zoom in real quickly here. I can see that this piece here also needs to be deducted. So I'm going to deduct that too. 
And that noise was my puppy dog. All right, guys, so the next step here is you want to go down to the adjustments layer like we started off, left click on that, go to curves, and then presto. We want to pull it down a bit, and you're going to see here that we have created an artificial tan. Now, I don't know how dark you want her to be, but the darker it gets, the less it sort of uh, blends in at the edges. So just keep that in mind that you kind of want to feather this too. So we've got her tan down to the color, let's say, that we want. The next step is you want to click on this masks button, left click on that, and then you're going to see something called feather. And we're going to go ahead and feather it. And when you feather something, it's basically at the edges. You're doing edge detection, basically. We're at the edges. It's sort of blending it in so you don't get those hard edges. Now, I'm going to go way up on the feather because I want this to look as natural as possible. So we're way, way, way up. And then, bang, we've got something that looks pretty good. I'm going to left-click on Select and Mask. I'm going to increase the feather a little over here as well. And let's just increase the radius. I don't want to go into too much detail as to what the heck we're doing here. Just know that we're just doing some fine details on the edges. Now, this isn't perfect. Again, this is not going to show up in a magazine, guys. But this is how you go ahead and add a tan or adjust color or adjust these types of things inside Photoshop nice and easy using just some selection tools and an adjustment layer for curves. I'll click off. This was the original image. This is the modified image, and it looks pretty good, all things considered. Thanks for watching this tutorial. i got a lot more stuff coming up. Be back soon.